Eres perfecta mujer De la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el piquete De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami Amarte es mi mania Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're showing some men appreciation. We're going to be doing a CBD isolate leave-in conditioner. I know it's a movement out there and I'm learning more and more about it every day. I constantly get asked about beard conditioners, oils and butters and you know our men they're really taking care of these beers out here okay i didn't even know the game i didn't know so i wanted to show a little appreciation just in time for father's day so we're going to jump right into this cbd isolate leave-in conditioner so from what i'm hearing a lot of men are suffering not only from coarseness of the hair they want the hair to be softer they're also suffering from irritation so i thought about cbd isolate because cbd is really great for inflammation it's going to help reduce irritation those bumps and, and itchy skin that you have underneath that beard that's what this is going to be good for now cbd is not marijuana it's not going to give you no high this does not have thc in it or anything like that so don't worry this is completely safe and legal i'll leave some information down below if you want to look more into it for your particular state okay but for now let's jump right into the oil phase we're going to be using some mango butter some cocoa butter and we're going to also be using some other ingredients that's going to give you softness because from what i hear i guess a lot of you guys are dealing with coarse hair that's really rough <laughs> against your skin and probably your woman's skin too okay so we're going to try to get you some ingredients in there that's going to soften btms 50 is perfect for that it's a conditioning emulsifier which is why i like to use it and don't forget we need our emulsifier because water and oil hate each other so in order to get those to mix to make this beautiful conditioner we need an emulsifier we're also using fatty alcohols. Don't get these confused with regular alcohol. It's not rubbing alcohol. These are fatty alcohols that are used as emollients. It's going to give you softness and this really beautiful feel to your hair. Another ingredient I can't stay away from is kukui oil. I love it because it's not greasy. It's super light and it absorbs super fast. I know you guys don't want greasy beards and it's also going to help with inflammation which is going to reduce itchiness. If you have eczema, if you're dealing with psoriasis, anything like that, you're good to go with kukui oil, okay? So let's go ahead and melt these butters down. Just place an inch or so of water in a pot or pan and place your heat resistant container inside to melt down the butters on low heat, okay? All right, while the oil phase is on the stove, we're gonna go ahead into the water phase. It's gonna be super simple. We're just using glycerin and we're also using panthenol. Glycerin is a humectant that's gonna draw in moisture and keep your hair super soft. And then of course, panthenol is also gonna give your conditioner that extra slip. Panthenol also has moisturizing, softening, soothing properties. So it's gonna help with irritation as well and make sure that you keep all that moisture locked in, okay? Now I'm gonna add this panthenol to the glycerin just to make sure it disperse well into the water we want to make sure since we don't have that high quality uh, equipment we're doing this at home as a hobby we want to make sure that we're still blending our products as efficiently as possible it's so important you guys in order to get a uniform beautiful silky smooth conditioner lotion or whatever it is that you're making okay so yeah once that's blended in as evenly as possible we're going to place that also into a water bath and heat it up so that it can be close to temperature to our oil phase we want to do this so that they can blend more efficiently everything we do is to make sure this water and this oil is just going to combine to make a beautiful product because water and oil really do hate each other guys so we have to work to get them together all right so while those are on the stove let's go ahead and prepare our preservative and our other ingredients that we're gonna add during the cool down phase, okay? Um, I'm also gonna be adding a uh, conditioning agent, uh, extra conditioning agent that is considered natural. I'll leave more information down below about it, um, but I was really excited to use it. It's definitely gonna give the uh, conditioner more softening properties, okay? And then we're gonna also add our fragrance in vitamin E. That's all up to you. It's about preference. If you want to leave it unscented, you definitely can if you have more sensitive skin, okay? Um, but vitamin E is just going to help keep the product from oxidizing and it's just great to have as far as your skin as well, okay? So we're going to set that aside for later, all right? Now we're going to go ahead and go to my favorite part, which is blending, emulsifying, 
mixing, whatever you want to call it. We're going to pour our water phase into our oil phase and just watch the magic happen. It instantly turns into a cream. Don't you guys love chemistry? I hated chemistry in school. I did. <laughs> but I love this. This is so cool. It instantly turned into a cream. It looks so beautiful. And I can already tell that this is going to be so thick and yummy and creamy, okay? So I just gave this a good stir to make sure everything is well blended. And then I'm going to go in with my immersion blender just to make sure that it is completely combined and that the water and the oil are just meshing together beautifully to create a uniform, uh, stable product that's not going to break apart, that's not going to destabilize, but that's going to hold together beautifully so that you can use it for, you know, some time to come. I'm already obsessed with how thick and beautiful this is. Ladies, this would be the perfect gift for your man, for Father's Day. Even if he's not a father, this would be a great gift to show your appreciation to our men, okay? And even our men out there, you can make this yourself. Don't think that you cannot get in the kitchen and whip you up a product. You definitely can do this. I actually came across a couple of channels that were doing some simple DIYs for beard care and facial care, grooming care. And I'm going to list those guys down in the description box below. You guys go check them out. They got some great information, some things I probably don't know because I don't know much about beards. But I do know about hair and I do know about skin. And I know this conditioner will be right and perfect for it. You guys, this is so beautiful. Look how thick and creamy this is. And it's also very uniform and I'm just loving the smoothness of this. And it lets me know that everything was well blended and is perfectly combined. All right, so ever since we started to mix our water and oil phase together, we have been in a cool down phase. But I like to classify the cool down phase when I start to add my temperature sensitive ingredients like my preservative, the fragrance, vitamin E, and other uh, ingredients that are sensitive to heat. Okay, this is when I like to add. Um, consider it my cool down phase anyway okay so during this time um, I like to take just a little bit of the product and mix it in with those ingredients that I set aside this is in order to see will my product destabilize like will it turn into like a cottage cheese and, and the oil and the uh, of water start to separate you know so it's really good to test a little small portion to make sure this can happen if your temperature is off and other factors can also play a part in your product destabilizing so it's always a good practice to test a small amount before just dumping it all in okay so once you feel that your product is cool enough go ahead and add your temperature sensitive ingredients and just blend it in well at this point you're basically done but if you like to add any extra it's just going to be a plus and today we're going to be adding the cbd isolate now let me say i do wish i had added the cbd isolate during the heated oil phase like when we we're adding the btms and kukui oil because it seems that the cbd isolate is soluble in oil this means it dissolves well in the oil not in water but in the oil i thought though if i emulsified the water and oil together that it would be okay and, and for the most part it really did it's such a fine powder that it blended in really really well but for future reference and for you guys who are looking to make this right now i recommend dissolving um, this CBD isolate into an oil. So infusing it into an oil to make a CBD infused oil and then applying that oil to your heated oil phase. And I think it will be beautiful and absolutely perfect. This right here is great. I love it. Blend it well, nice. But to make the most uniform, beautiful, smooth uh, leave-in conditioner, I think that would be the best bet. And I think I might do that next time. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies. So for the most part, this was everything I wanted and more, you guys. I really hope you give this a try and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. Leave me some feedback. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this 
CBD isolate leave-in conditioner. It's so smooth and pretty. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So anyway, we're going to just place this in a container. You can use whatever container you like. And that's it, you guys. But before you go, I wanted to go over the source of the CBD one more time so you guys can just have a little bit more clarity. Now, I've used hemp seed before that comes from the seed of the hemp plant. Now, the CBD isolate that I have is extracted from the actual flower stalk or leaves of the hemp plant and so the cbd is extracted and isolated from all the other ingredients like the thc which can make you high and all that stuff like that leaving you only the medicinal benefits of the cbd so have no fear when using the cbd in most states it is clear for you to use for any purpose especially for um topical eating all different types of purposes it has and benefits that this ingredient has and you're safe and it's legal to use but i will leave information down below just in case you want to check on your particular state to make sure that it is okay okay yeah i really feel like this is going to be the next boom the next wave you guys so definitely do your research and see how it can be implemented into your life okay uh check out the benefits they're definitely up there they're definitely up there okay all right like subscribe follow me on instagram and all that good stuff you guys please leave comments down below if you have any questions and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami. Amarte es mi mania, que lo que toca mi mano se daña, pero amor es lo que dicen, como un color entre los grises, yo no. Nunca te fallé, tú no eres cualquiera